Good morning, YouTube. Thank you once again for tuning in. I am the Cairo, and you are now watching The Morning Coffee. The Morning Coffee. All right, what's up, y'all? Real quick tutorial for YouTube viewer Finito Souls. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, basically, the question was just how do uh, you import MIDI kits into the Machina software? And I'm going to take some, let's say, some MIDI tracks that I created in Reason and uh, import them into the software. So on group one in the software, we have a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. And then on group two, we have a bass. Um, there is a different way that I have to do each one, so that's why I have the two examples here. Uh, these are the MIDI tracks that we're going to be using. We have the drums at 85 beats per minute and the sub bass at 77. And this is real important if you want things to play exactly the same in the Machina software. You have to make sure that the tempos match. So for this one, I already have the tempo set at 85 beats per minute. So what I'm going to do is just go here um, because I wanted to affect each one of these. So I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to import MIDI. Wait till it comes up, then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to open it. And as you can see, it's right there and let's hit play to make sure it plays back. And that's pretty much it for that. Uh, and let's go to the sub bass. So for the sub bass, like I said, the sub bass was at 77 beats per minute. So all we need to do is go ahead and hit that at 77 beats per minute. Doing everything on the screen here because, of course, you can't see me using my MK3 right now. Okay, and now what I want to do is just affect the uh, the MIDI play out of this, of this particular bass here. So what I'm going to do is right-click there, select Import MIDI. Did I say MIDI or MIDI? I don't know. Anyway, highlight there and hit Open. And then we're going to play it back. And now... And that's pretty much it. So hopefully it answers the question. Um, you know what? I really only used to do this when I, you know, on uh, let's say the MPC Renaissance or the MPC 3000 or my MPC 62. Dang, I'm bragging right now. But anyway, I only used to do it when I wanted to copy events of one track into another. If I'm doing the song build, I never really thought to do it, let's say, or purchase MIDI kits to get this done um, no hate against anybody who, who you know does the midi kit thing um, it's just something that I never even thought of so when it was brought to me as midi kits I'm like wow they got midi kits and so um, of course wanted to do the video for my viewer because I appreciate all my viewers and my subscribers but in addition to that um, I just wanted to uh, I would you know I wasn't even really sure um, like I said that this was actually a uh, practice as far as purchasing kits, but I guess it's just the same as ex uh, purchasing expansion kicks so uh, kits so uh, shout out uh, to everybody who's doing it um, like I say we got our own ways of making beats and stuff like that um, and although it's not something that I particularly use, I guess you know it is something that I should respect because it's probably just the same as people feel about you know us sampling and 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 building beats up off of chops from records so um, yeah that's about it man have a good one i'm out now that was some good coffee if you enjoyed this video cruise around the channel and see other content also hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when i make new videos once again i am the cairo plug in get connected we are tmr <laughs>